That was the worst thing I ever told anybody. Uh, and I was like, man. Jeez, oh. And I never seen him like that. So it was like, in some type of way, I felt fucked up because it was like, it was like, I, I had to tell him the worst shit ever. What's up, everybody? This is the world famous Ed Lover, and you are watching Forgotten Kings TV. That's right. Forgotten Kings TV. Come on, son. Gilly the King laying his oldest son, Devin Spady, to rest on Monday. Spady, who wrapped under the name Young Cheese, was killed in a shooting at the corner of Masher and Nidro last Thursday night. Family friends we spoke with believe losing a son to gun violence will motivate Gilly even more to stay active in his fight. But they also know he can't do it alone and say the community has to step up and take action. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much. I just want to thank all y'all for the love, man. I love y'all for sending the love, the support that y'all sent our way, the condolences. We felt it. We heard it. Listen, man, I appreciate y'all. I went through the hardest shit I ever went through in my life, man. But if it wasn't for my family, if it wasn't for my friends, and even the people that's not in this motherfucker from the bottom of my heart, now we all party and we gonna live for my son. Long live cheese. Yesterday, Gilly and Wilo released a new episode of Million Dollars Worth the Game, and to be honest, it's probably one of the most realest episodes you'll ever see. For those who missed it, Wilo went into detail about the moment he had to tell Gilly about the passing of his son Cheese. In the episode, you can see Wilo break down in tears as he explains the moments leading up to him telling Gilly the unfortunate news about his son Cheese passing away. Wilo also goes into detail about how difficult it was for him not to break down around Gilly, knowing Gilly was going through his own range of emotions after hearing the unfortunate news. In the episode, you could also see Gilly fighting back tears as he listens to Wallow relive those moments. Like I said, it's definitely one of the realest moments I've ever seen on the show. Hit the link in the description so you can watch the full episode. But like I said, man, this, this moved me a lot because again, we don't see this, right? We talking about two grown men, very vulnerable in front of their audience talking about something that you know we all can relate to right and that's loss uh in this case we understand you know there's celebrities have you want to call it entertainers um but again you know we're all human we all understand what it's like to lose someone um and when we talk about Wallow and gilly and their brand you know it's always fun upbeat so the moment the news came out that gilly's son had passed away i mean we all was sitting back wondering how hard the news had to be for both Gilly and Wallow and their family. So this episode right here, like I said, kudos to both Gilly and Wallow for, you know, allowing their audience to, you know, see these men be vulnerable in front of the world as they explain one of the most difficult parts, you know, moments, I shall say, in their life, man. Like I said, uh, nothing but love, um, praise to Gilly, right? wallow their family because this is something that you don't see every day man and it speaks volumes to the conversations that you know us men we need to have right that's centered around mental health therapy meditation prayer all of that is needed uh when we going through this thing called life but uh y'all let me know what are your thoughts on this episode of wallow breaking down talking about those moments, right, leading up to him delivering the unfortunate news about his nephew, Gilly's son, Cheese, passing away. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. But that's all I got for y'all today. My name is Sensei Rip. Till next time, peace. That was the worst thing I ever told anybody. Uh, and I was like, man, Cheese, go on. And I never seen him like that. So it was like, in some type of way, I felt fucked up because it was like, it was like I, I had to tell him the worst shit ever. So I felt some type of way. Like it wasn't that I was responsible, but the fact that I told him that shit, that's the worst shit ever. So we was there for a while. I leave the hospital. I'm like, all right, I got to leave. I go to the crib and I'm just fucked up because I'm like, I had to tell him that shit. And, uh, the next day I called Gene. I'm like, damn, in the morning, I'm like, what's up with him, man? Is he all right? He going through it. 
So I said, I got to, at that moment, I was like, whatever I do, I got to be able to put my emotions and my feelings on hold in order to take care of cuz. And I had to be like, and it was strange. I said, damn, I got to make sure cuz get out the house. I went to the crib. I got him. I'm like, yo, come on. We got to bounce. We got to, two was like, I said, come on. We got to get out of here because there was so much going on in his mind. I'm like, we got to get up out of here. I got him out the crib. I got him to the studio. And I just was calling people like, yo, all the brothers I knew. I was like, because it was too much for me to go through. And I'm like, I can't really do this shit by myself because I'm like, I can't really feel right now because I can't be selfish on the aspect of I can't even I can't even really truly mourn about cheese because I got to make sure Gil all right because I told him the worst shit ever. And then I'm processing like, damn, I'm just trying to get as many homies over here as possible to the studio. Like, come over, come over, come over, come over, come over, come over. I called a thousand boys, man. Dude showed up. And I did it there today, there today to try to make a better situation. But it was like, Cheese wasn't coming back. And it was like, I had to stay away from it. It was hard for me to face cuz for a while. So I would keep my distance. It'd be like, it's fucked up. Cuz. No, I appreciate you for that too, cuz. It was like, I'm trying to help him. And I can't, I can't even, I can't even, I can't even just, it was like I felt fucked up for telling him that shit, man. And it was like, the homies came through though, and made, the family came through and just try to help him. They helped him out so much. He was laughing and shit. I'm calling the Tootie back and forth, and I'm telling you, he, he, he laughing. He cool right now. He, but it's an in and out. It's going in and out. And that was the worst shit. I had to tell him, and it's like, it's still days. He just be he be off because you know. And I don't know what to say to him because I ain't you know I ain't never lose a kid. So thankful that you know you got freeway, you got Tal, you got everybody that came through. That was just that was just like helping this shit out, and they dads that lost their kids. So it's like I can't not even know what to say. I ain't know what to say because you just don't. And then it's still times it's fucked up because I used to talk to Gil about cheese all the time. I was like, "Yo, cheese this and the third, cheese this," and we used to, you know, when he did anything. But it's like, you know, you a father, you just be feeling fucked up because it's like, did I do my job enough? And you did, but it's, and I always tell him, like, yo, you did a great job, man. You was doing your shit. Because I'm still penalizing myself because it's like I had to tell him the craziest shit in the world, man. Like, you know what I mean? That was the craziest shit I had to tell somebody. And it fucked me up, man. It fucked me up for a minute. It still a little bothered me because it's like, you tell somebody their son ain't here no more. And that's a fuck. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. I never had to tell nobody nothing like that, you know. You know, you can hear things through somebody else, but to tell somebody that, you just don't want to, uh, I don't know, man. I, so to the youngest out there, man, if you got a pop out there, you know, because a lot of times you always, you know, you never hear about the pops. A lot. If you got a pop, man, get up under your dad, man, soak some game up, man. If things wrong, see if y'all can make it right. If y'all can, y'all can. If y'all can't, y'all can. Y'all got a step pop, y'all got somebody, but man, I'm going to just, I'm going to just, man, it's just crazy, man. I, I don't want to, I don't want to keep rapping, man. I'm going to leave y'all, but I just want to say, man. Just it costs too much to be a criminal. It costs yeah. too much to be in the streets, and it's just like, man, if if you can make it out, make it out. Uh, yeah. And if you get out the car, get out the car because things might go wrong, man. 